Here we have two examples of the observed number of black-white joins for uniform maps on the left-hand side and a clustered map on the right-hand side. These are the two extreme cases. So on the left-hand side, when the, uniform, when the map is about as uniform or dispersed as possible, this is negative autocorrelation, we are going to have an observed block white count that equals the join count, that equals the total number of joins. So here in this map, we've got 24 joins. And 24, all 24 of them are black white joins. So I'm illustrating where they are, but all of the joins in this case are black white joins. And on the right hand side, we've got an extreme clustered map positive autocorrelation. All the high values are on one side of the map, all the low values are on the other side. In this case, we only have four black-white joins. One, two, three, four. So we see that in clustered cases, the observed number of black-white joins is going to be small, and in uniform cases, the observed number of black-white joins is going to be large. In random cases, we're going to have some observed number of black-white joints in the middle of this range, between, in this case, 4 and 24. And you can see now how we might structure a statistical test by looking at the observed number of black-white joints and comparing it to what would be the, black, the number of black-white joints if the data were random. And that's precisely what we're going to do. In this case, we can define a z-test. And the z-test is composed of the difference between the observed black-white minus the expected black-white. This is expected under the null hypothesis that the map is random. Okay? And we're going to divide by the standard error of the expected black-white joins. So the null hypothesis in this case is that the map pattern is random. That means that OBW will equal EBW. And we have three alternatives. The non-directional case is just that the map pattern is not random, and we just have a not equals. OBW doesn't equal EBW. Or we can have an alternative hypothesis that the pattern is uniform, in which case we have a right-tailed test. Or we can see, or we can have an alternative that the map pattern is clustered, and which leads us to a left-tailed test, OBW less than EBW. If you recall over here, when the map pattern is clustered, we have a small OBW. So here, if we have an alternative that the pattern is clustered, the test that we need to do is that for OBW less than EBW. The expected number of black-white joins, if the pattern was completely random, depends on the total number of joins, that's this J, and the number of black and white cells in the map. So capital B is going to be the number of black cells in the map, and capital W is the number of white cells in the map. N is just the total number of regions on the map, so N equals B plus W. So the expected number of black-white joins, of course, has to be dependent on how many black cells there are and how many white cells there are. For example, if the number of black and white cells is even, uh, so if we have a map okay, that's got an even number, let's just do a very simple case. If we have a map that's got an even number of black and white cells, or let's say an uneven number of black and white cells. So say all of these cells are white, but then just one cell over here is black. So in this case, no ma even if the map data are, uh, if the map data are assumed to be random, we would only expect to see a small number of black-white joints on this map. So if this map pattern is random, we would only expect to see, you know, maximum four black-white joins, because we only have one black cell. If, however, the pattern is more even, I mean the distribution of black and white 
counts is more even. So for example, if we have this map pattern, which has an almost even number of white and black cells, and it's random, how many black-white joints do we have now? Well, we have this new one, we have this new one, we have this new one, and we have this new one. And the rule goes that as the number of black and white cells gets more and more even, the expected number of black-white joints is going to increase. And this formula is going to take that into account by multiplying black by white.